Now for our shooting, let's uh, define a new shoot function. Uh, just call it shoot. And then we need to define it. And in Unity, it's as easy as just typing function shoot. And now your function is defined. OK. So from the update function, we're going to call the shoot function. And in the shoot function, we need to make sure that our fireball is created at our spawn point and actually moves. So we've done this before for the worm and the other parts. So let's um, go through this pretty quickly. Let's type far bullet equals our instantiate function. And as you'll remember, the instantiate function has three variables, one, two, and three. And the first one is the prefab uh, that we actually want to shoot. So let's first define a variable up top here, var bullet prefab, which is a transform variable. So we'll name that here as well, bullet prefab. Then the second one is where we want to create or instantiate the pro the the the. Where we want to shoot from, which is our spawn point. Now, in this case, I'm not going to type game object dot find because we now have in our scene a couple of uh, items called spawn point, so we don't need those because the, otherwise our worm will shoot as well. Uh, what we need to do is look through our prefab and find the spawn point there. So instead of typing game object dot find, I'm going to type transform dot find. So that looks at our current transform, and that is part. The spawn point is part of our um, of our prefab spawn point, and then from this we need the dot transform dot position. I mistyped your transform. Yes, and then for our third variable, we need to have the rotation, and the rotation will be exactly the same as our current turret. So we'll go just type quaternion dot identity which returns the rotation identity of our current object which is the turret so that was easy next we need to um, actually make this bullet move so go bullet which is the variable we just defined right here dot rigid body a rigid body is attached to this prefab add force and we'll make it go forward along the z-axis so transform dot forward multiplied by 1000 now I added 2000 for the worm so the worm shoots a little faster than our turret so that makes the you know the game a little bit easier to beat okay so we have that and now let me um, be we still need to define our bullet prefab here and after that we'll run the game and I'll show you one big problem that we have with this script right now. Uh, you see our bullet prefab is here. Let's drop our fireball on top of it. And now as soon as we run our game, you'll see that our turret will shoot, but it will shoot like crazy. It's pretty funny to see. Um, it shoots so many fireballs that this might slow down your computer, but there's a million a second almost. Every time a frame is rendered, it calls the shoot function. So there's so many fireballs that they start bouncing off of each other, which um, creates this spray effect. Uh, it's nice, but it, in this case, it's not what we want. So we need to go back into our um, uh, where the shoot function is called, which is right here, and only call it um, once a second or something so that it makes it easier to shoot. Now, luckily, Keeping track of time is pretty easy in Unity, so just type a variable, call it seconds, and um, make that time dot time. The first one with a capital, the second one with lowercase. Now, time dot time is a uh, complicated variable. It's a float variable. What what we want? We only want the seconds, so we're gonna make this variable an int, an integer which is doesn't have any. Um, letters behind the comma so it's not 1.0 or something it's just one two three okay so in that way we if we divide it by two it's either even or odd even so let's make a new variable and call it um, odd even and make that our seconds variable divided or by two and now since our seconds variable is an integer, 
um, is a rounded number so this number will either be true or false depending on odd or even so when odd even is true we can shoot and if it's not true we don't shoot it's really that easy it's just a little bit of a complicated solution here but um, now the uh, turd will still spray at us but only once a second check this out see every other second it starts spraying at us so we still need to fix that but at least every other second it doesn't okay now what we want let's go back into our script is that as soon as the shoot function is called we'll remember the time that it sent us so that if that time is already used to shoot a fireball we're not going to use it again so in the shoot function let's um, send our seconds variable um, and we'll um, at first we're going to check if hold on it's going to give our, our second variable so then we shoot and after we're done shooting we need to save our time so let's make a variable called saved time and set it to our seconds okay um, and we need to define save time up here as well next it's going to go to the shoot function again a million times a second and so it's still shooting so before we let it shoot we need to make an if statement and check our time okay if our seconds is already used so is not the same as our saved time then we can shoot so let me explain this real quick it gives us our time in seconds it comes to the shoot variable and it checks if that current time is already saved so that means it already went through this loop in this case it isn't so it's just going to execute this right here then it's going to save the time so as soon as it comes right back in the save time is active and we we can do our damage so up here let's make our save time zero just to be sure and now when we run our game you will notice that our turret will only shoot once every second nice we solved that in a pretty easy manner it was a little complicated but you know it works before you go let me tell you what we're doing next week next week we're starting off with adding sound effect to our turrets and after that we'll see where we go uh, probably some adding some art and some textures and some lighting or some other things like lives and health and or blowing up our turrets something like that uh, before you go though my new friend from Lithuania BD2 has uh, sent me some models that he textured for example a temple with some textures applied to it uh, which looks pretty nice and then the, an awesome turret because my turret on some computers it will mess you up because I'm not the best modeler in the world and he was willing to share these models with us for free so you can download them using the link in the info section don't forget to visit his prof profile and say hey thanks for sharing these uh, models with us you're awesome alright as for now see you next week